Hello friends and welcome back to Geeks Play Banjo-Kazooie. I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi and we are going to get another move from Bottles here. Uh, he's just activated. Uh, you'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. That's what he's just activated. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Why does he sound like Mickey Mouse? Simply stand on a shock jump disc and then press and hold A. Nice going, you found, you've learned all the Ko's moves. Okay, thanks. So you hold A and boing. You get an Ecom token. And what do we find up here? Nothing. But something you can do is you can jump off, and she doesn't. You don't have to be on the jump pad. Oh crap! You don't have to. You don't have to be on the jump pad to actually do the uh, the actual spring high jump. You just have to have jumped off the pad with banjo and continue to hold A. You could, conversely, you could do it like this. You can go pretty far because you do go pretty high. And those guys down there will cause you problems if, uh... Oh, and you can also cancel it by not holding A. Yeah, those guys down there might cause you problems if you land near them. Oh, we're getting the Jinjos in order. I did not intend to do it that way, but I'll take it. Okay, nothing up there. I think we can just jump to this one. Yeah. I will never pass up getting more eggs. So I'll almost never have full on eggs. Is there a guy in there? Oh, there is. Shoot. Oh, barely avoided him. I don't think there's anything up there quite yet that we can do. No, not yet. You'll see later. Um, so let's go over here. I didn't start my timer, darn it. Well, I'll just stop at 12 minutes then. Ugh. Oh, okay. What is it? Oh, it's over there. There's a jiggy up there. Did you see it? I did. Here we go. And this is why we learned the move, so we could get the jiggy. Go <laughs> hook. Um, there's more stuff down here. I'm pretty full on feathers, yeah. I've got all the feathers I can get. Uh, you. Go away. I think... I don't know what's in here. One of these guys, I'm certain, has notes in it. <laughs> this one. See? This is why you check all of them. The notes are going to be very important. So, let's get our energy back. And what's up here? More feathers, more feathers. We don't need feathers. Um, and this is kind of where we started, where the ladders were at one point. Do not jump in the water, the shark is over here too. At any point in this level, the shark will be in the water. So, just remember that. This is like Spiral Mountain, except you're climbing, have to make jumps. Ooh! X marks the spot. I wonder if there's treasure here. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Ah, oh, so let's go this way. Yeah, probably should have started here. Because now we're doing a second loop through the level. My phone just made a Facebook pop. Oh, let's, uh, let's land. Let's silence our phone. Okay. Now we're looking for another X. Where is it? Right over there. The nice thing about this, though, is having already done this loop, is that the enemies are gone, for the most part. Left that guy alive. For no good reason. So, is there treasure here? No, we have to go this way. And that's where the X is. It's right over there. Thirsty, I should have got myself some water. And bam! And we're gonna have to go this way, it looks like. That island over there, it's called Sharkbait Island. Sharkbait, hoo ha ha! 
It's a trap. Don't go there. You can't even stand on it. It is hard-coded, so you can't stand on it. Uh, we're gonna have to spend a feather or two to get up here. Remember, this is a spot I looked at just a minute ago saying, Oh, I can't look at this. I can't do anything up here. Let's see if we can take out this guy real quick. Um, nope, didn't work. But, what? No treasure? You'll never find me. Well, let's get the notes at least. There, now we've got all our notes and... Oh, there's another X. That's what this island is for. And what do we do? Hey, there he is. Please open me gently. Well, come here. Come here. Come here. Let me get you. All right. Come back here. You. Ah, gently, huh? Well, how about an egg? No. I will give you an egg. No. <laughs> there we go. Conversely, you can peck him with your beak. I was trying to be all pro elite status and get him with an egg. Back here is another Mubo token. Very cool. Uh, we have not found any empty honeycombs yet. And we've been in here for kind of a while. Makes me sad. Uh, I know where one is. Whoa! Okay. I'm trying to think of where the other one is. Well, let's climb to the top of the ship, shall we? So we can... Uh, take to the air. There's one more spot we haven't been yet. We're gonna go over here this time. And we're gonna go up these steps and now we're, we found another spiral. This is actually par uh, part of the same level. It's not like we've entered a new area. Uh, eggs. Okay. More notes. Notice the music has stopped. And over here, we find the last Jinjo. You can actually see the, the rest of the level down there. Gahuck. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to roll like that, but that's fine. I think if we head over here... No. Nope. Banjo really likes to slide when he's uh, doing that flip when he crouches. This is the quick way up, but I think I'm actually skipping out on some notes and stuff. So I'm gonna go back down. Seem to remember there being some other things. Is that it? Oh yeah, there was... Forgot to go in the sand castle down there. I wanted to end up here, but I didn't. And we can... Bust open the door, get ourselves a mumbo token. Let's go in the lighthouse. My lighthouse. My lighthouse. Jumping on the top and collecting a jiggy. Okay, so we got two left. Two more jiggies. And had that been number 10, like I normally do when I play the game, I would actually jump off the lighthouse and lose a life, because it's fun. It just takes you right back to the beginning of the level. So you've collected all 100 notes and all 10 jiggies. Oh, what's this? Kapow! Fired the cannon. Let's head on back down. You'll notice that on every level there's a Gruntilda pad like that. And when you press it down, when you stomp on it with your beak buster, uh, it will reveal a jiggy or a puzzle somewhere in the world. Yeah, you know what, Mr. Nipper? I really don't care. 
you can go ahead and be clever with your food sayings all you want. Um, I want to go into the sand castle. There you are. Oh yeah, that one, that free life down there is not worth it. One up is a trap. Cake is a lie. All those things. Uh, I think the sand castle is over here. Yes. We can't get to it. Oops. The easier way to get all these notes is like this. When there was still water. Um, whoops. But we have to avoid this guy, so I don't know how easy it actually is. Is he coming after us? He's totally gonna blow up on us. Yep, there we go. Lost a life. Oh well. I kinda wanted to blow him up with, uh, by draining the water. I don't know if we can go in the sandcastle when the water is still full. Can we? Oh, we can! Okay. Oh, but we can't do anything. Okay. We can go in here, but we can't do anything. Which is totally fine by me. Let's head up. Uh, I know there's a way to get up. Ugh, camera. Decided to turn around. Made me all disoriented. Sandcastle. Oh, there's still notes up here that I did not get. Ah. I was a little too hasty when I was going on my treasure hunt. Yes. Okay. Now let's talk to Mr. Bucket here. There we go. We give him a couple eggs. Because he's Mr. Leaky, actually, and now he can hold all that water. And had we not detonated the mine earlier, he would have blown up just then when we drained all the water. Now this guy is saying, hey, furball, you're looking wise, saw my puzzle, and win a prize. Well, first things first. Let's uh, collect all 100 notes. Here we go, thank you. And if you look on the walls here, it says our name, Banjo-Kazooie. And there's a bunch of letters all over the floor. Well, that's because you're supposed to spell your name. And they give you 100 seconds. It's not that complicated. There are three O's in our name. And you can only use one letter once. Each letter once. Banjo, where's the K? Uh, there it is. There are two, also two A's in our name. You can only use each letter once. There is one letter missing from here, and I think it's the X? Oh no, there's the X, so it's Q. K-A-Z-O. Where's the other O? Oh, right here. I, and then we end at the E right in front of this dude. The gate opens to reveal your prize, but first I'll cut you down to size. What is with the rhyming in this game? This guy is faster and tougher than the other crabs, but you jump up. And collect your prize. So there's number nine. Where is number ten? I'm having trouble remembering now. Well, I guess I'll cut away until I remember. Well, I just found a mumbo token. It's not what I'm looking for. Okay, now I remember. There's actually... If you go down here, in the water, or at the, at the lowest point, not in the water, 
there's a ledge here. You follow the ledge here, and you'll find some crates in the water. You jump on the crates, can't grab the edge, so I think you need to flip flat there. Jump up here, bunch of eggs. And there we have it. Yay! Thank you, thank you, I am the best. <laughs> now if I, only can, uh, now if I could only find those empty honeycomb pieces. Maybe there's one over here or something. I seem to remember it being in the water and not being worth the effort. There it is. You jerk. I'm almost dead. This is not good. This is not good. I'm gonna have to look up where that other one is, unless it's up here. No, no. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Gonna have to make a few cuts to keep it under 15 minutes, but I think we'll be okay. Hello, dog. Love barging in. But, yeah. Again, I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi for Geeks Under Grace. Go ahead and like and follow and all that good stuff <laughs> on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and all the socials. Uh, go check us out on Facebook, too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be blessed. <laughs>